Dallas, Texas, a city known for its art and culture. Dallas Music Network is bringing great Texas artists to the spotlight. We're streaming on social media and on all TV streaming devices on Two Stage TV. If you like what you see, your tax-deductible donation can help us continue to bring great Dallas musicians to the world. Tonight's episode is brought to you in part by a generous gift from Timothy R. Wallace. And now, Dallas Music Network presents The Spotlight. Welcome back to Dallas Music Network. I'm Emmeline. And I'm Joel. And we are here tonight to bring you a brand new episode of Dallas Music Network's The Spotlight. Tonight, we're getting to know and jamming out some absolute southern rock stars in the Noah Bowman Band. And I can tell you all about them, but I really just want to let their music speak for themselves. And now, without further ado, Noah Bowman Band.
I'm here with the pride of Oklahoma, the Noah Bowman Band. Noah Bowman, Trevor, and Devin. Guys, welcome to Dallas Music Network. Thank you for having us, man. Sure. So I know you guys have been playing together for a while, but when did this group kind of start for y'all? I mean, like we all grew up together, uh, so I'd say we really started jamming as a band. Like, I mean, we always just got together and jammed, hung out, played music growing up and stuff like that, but I'd say we started taking it serious probably, what do you think? Two, two years ago? About two yeah. years ago, yeah. yeah. Early 2020. Yeah, for and sure. So how did you guys meet? Were you, did you all go to school together? Yeah, yeah, well, like I said, we grew up together and known each other our whole lives. So. That's gonna be an awesome, like, class reunion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for sure. For sure. And you all have musical families, right? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I grew up, my grandpa, my uncle, both great guitar players, and grew up around it, you know, and I think it's pretty much the same for the, these two guys, and, uh, I let them speak for themselves on that, but there's a lot of like praise and worship background. You mm -hmm. know, our our old man was in the was on the praise and worship team and stuff, and and then we were in the in the youth in the youth praise and worship team, and and uh, you know it's that's kind of the kind of the background that, that we're that we're used to coming up and stuff, and uh, but yeah yeah our old man our grandpa played some too, and uh, pretty much all the bars as far as I know. <laughs> all the bars. Six string a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of everything. Like so I've been following you guys on Instagram for a while and it seems like y'all are always performing or have some gig lined up. Are y'all just always in a van on the road or? Uh, we try to stay busy. We try to stay busy for sure. Uh, uh, we're picking up, picking up pretty heavy right now yeah. and uh, trying to keep it that way anywhere and everywhere we can. So uh, all over Oklahoma and Texas for sure. So. It's a blast. A lot of driving though. Yeah, <laughs> lots, of, lots of being on the road. Who does the majority of the driving and who does the majority of the, like sleeping in the back? This man's sleep, <laughs> sleeping. He's sleeping, sleeping in the back, every time. sure. Nah, we, we, we fluctuate pretty good. We fluctuate pretty good. And when y'all aren't on the road, what are you guys up to? Y'all still hanging out? Is this just a coworker situation? Oh, no, no, we're always, we're practicing always and hanging out and, uh, you know, I mean, on our off days, write songs, do whatever we gotta do, you know, to get ready to do it all again the next weekend, you know, so. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Hash the weekend plans out over a meat and cheesy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> we like our burgers plain and dry, we call it a meat and cheesy. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. So as for musical influences, do you guys have sort of your own taste? Does a lot of it come from y'all's family's history with music? Or where, where does a lot of it come from? I think a lot of it definitely comes from, you know, family and, and early upbringing influences and stuff like that. But uh, as far as like integrating what goes on into our music and stuff, it's, it's really kind of our own thing. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. I mean, you know, having that growing up, you know, is, is great because not a whole lot of people get that. And uh, definitely helped us, uh, I mean, from an early age, I'd say like, you know, seeing them do that, what they do, and uh, it's like makes me wanna, like it really what made me wanna, you know, just even think about doing this. And uh, here we are today, and uh, I don't think that necessarily the sound, in my opinion, like from what they did, to like what we do today is anywhere close to the same, but uh, it's definitely where it came from, for sure, 100%. Now, a question for the Bart brothers. What is it like being, you know, together every day, doing music together. How, how is that dynamic? This is my boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're really close. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're brothers, but we're, we're best buds too. We're all, we're all best buds, you know? This gets cool. Now, Noah, do you wish that you had your brother in the band or? I ain't got a brother if I did, but he probably wouldn't be in the band either. So. <laughs> but, nah. We keep nah. each other in check. It's good, just like we got it. We only got room for one, one set of brothers. Yeah. So we'll keep it that Two way. Brothers. <laughs> so I feel like every sort of musician has their own goal or dream, you know, in music. And I was wondering what each of you guys is. is. If there's a specific like venue you want to perform at, someone you want to perform with, or, you know, you want that award in the thank you speech. I mean, honestly, for me, man, it's just uh, getting to be out there doing it, playing music, you know, m making well enough living to you know, pay the bills every month, really. I mean, it's not about, at least to me, it's not about, you know, being 
rich and famous or any of that kind of stuff. I mean, all that's great, don't get me wrong, but it's really just about being out there doing it just because you love to do it and making enough money to pay your bills and so be it, you know what I mean? Why not? So, really Sharing the music? Sharing the music, sharing our talents? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree too. Uh, it's, it's, it's definitely really cool, you know, Seeing, seeing people send us videos like jamming out to oh, yeah, our songs great. on the radio and stuff and you know if it, if, it, if somebody's going through a tough time or something and, and like get to put on put on a put on a song that makes them feel better that's pretty that's pretty dope you know getting to, getting to put a smile on somebody's face now have you all had one of those experiences of you're just listening to the radio one day and you go hey, that's me or you walk into a store yeah, and have, you get that we have uh, I was at uh, back home we got a sonic back home in Long Grove and I was in the sonic and uh, Heard it, the radio was on and I was like, cranked it on and it was our stuff on the radio. I was like, what? Man, it's kind of a weird deal for sure. Mm -hmm. Was that the best slush you ever had? Uh, yeah, it was nice. It was good. It was a good feeling for sure. Uh, I mean, but we're after more for sure. We're after more than just, you know, being on the radio or something like that. But uh, that's good though. It's good. Do y'all have any? Sorry. sorry. Sonic is a good start. Sonic's <laughs> a good start. Yeah. Yeah. Do y'all have any big plans coming up for 2022? Uh, we got some. Uh, we got new music coming out within the next couple of months. Uh, just hitting the road, burning the road up, and playing anywhere and everywhere we can. Anybody and everybody that'll have us, we're happy to come and rock it out. And for people looking to listen to more of y'all's music, wanting to follow you guys on social media or anything, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Or uh, the best way would be uh, through noahbowmanband.com. Uh, it's got a link to our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, anything and everything you need from us will be on that website. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. We're awfully proud to have you, and we can't wait to be hearing more from you guys. Absolutely. The Noah Bowman Band. It's long ways back from where I've been.
drink whiskey with my daddy Pray to God with my mama Hoping one day He'll I might change my way Until then Oh, I'll learn my lessons The hard way And that's our show. We'd like to thank Noah Bowman Band, this amazing cast and crew here at Dallas Music Network. And most importantly, we'd like to thank you at home for watching. Thank you so much for allowing us to take you on this journey through Southern rock and roll. We hope you keep it tuned right here for even more content from the Dallas Music Network. Where else can people find us? They can find us online at dallasmusicnetwork.com, on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, and TikTok. And don't forget to check us out on Two Stage TV, available on your TV at home or wherever you have your TV, in over 183 countries on Google Play, Android TV, Roku, Apple TV, and more. We're basically everywhere. If you have trouble keeping up with all of that, though, just hit us up at dallasmusicnetwork.com. We've got so much new programming to bring you, and we can't wait to show you even more new music and more of your new favorite artists. We'll see you right here next time for the next episode of Dallas Music Network's The Spotlight, brought to you with a generous gift from Timothy R. Wallace. see. Please help us continue to bring great programming to the community with your tax-deductible donation. Donate on our website at dallasmusicnetwork.com or to find out more information on how to become a sponsor, email Beverly at dallasmusicnetwork.com. Thank you for tuning into the Spotlight presented by Dallas Music Network.